Hey y'all, this is Amanda and welcome back to my Texas Zone 8A garden and today it is blustery, it is cold, it is wet and so I thought I'd come inside and show you guys my top 20 gifts for gardeners in 2022. <music> Okay, so today we're gonna to go over my top 20 suggestions for gifts for a gardener in 2022. We're gonna go over everything from something extremely practical to other things that are just kind of frivolous and fun as a gift. I'm gonna drop a link to each of these items down below in my description. These links are not monetized, so I'm not gaining anything from suggesting these products to you or providing the links from you. There's no additional like, kickback for me or anything like that, but you guys can access anything below. I also would love to hear your suggestions on gifts that you think are amazing for gardeners as well. Be sure to drop a comment below and tell us what you think is great or one of the best presents that you've ever received as a gardener. Okay, so these gifts are in no particular order, so I'm just gonna jump in, and my first suggestion is a hori hori knife. Now, a hori hori knife is a Japanese knife, and hori hori actually means dig dig. So it's kind of this wonderful, like versatile tool with a straight sharp edge on one side and a serrated edge on the other, and it allows you to dig, it allows you to cut, it's great for planting bulbs, it's wonderful for, wonderful for pulling up weeds, it can cut through rope and twine. It has a measurement on the blade, so you can actually measure the depth of soil. It typically has a stainless steel blade and a bamboo handle. Now, there are a wide variety of Hori Hori knives available out there. I'm going to link the Hori Hori knife that I have been using because I can absolutely say if I gave it a little wash, it would look brand new, and I've been utilizing it for just, a, just under a year. Number two on my list is a garden auger. So basically a garden auger is a tool that you attach to a drill and allows you to core out holes into the soil. It's excellent for planting bulbs. It's a wonderful for kind of tilling up small areas of soil, mixing in compost or fertilizer or perlite or whatever it is that you're working into your soil. They're typically lightweight. They're an inexpensive gift, but a gift that really makes life easier for a gardener. They can be good for anywhere from small, tiny bulbs to planting beautiful four inch uh, annuals to planting quart size, gallon size, and even digging out fence post holes. Now, they do come in a wide variety of sizes. My suggestion is typically to at least get a three inch wide auger that's at least 12 inches deep. That will allow whomever you are gifting um, it to, to be able to plant a wide variety of bulbs and a wide variety of small annuals. Now, if you do have a gardener, gardener who is a heavy duty gardener, you might wanna check with them, see what kind of plants they're planting up and then purchase them a larger auger for larger scale plants. Number three on my list is a pair of waterproof rain boots. These are going to be utilized by gardeners even if it's not raining. Waterproof boots are just so easy to just slip your stocking feet into, trudge out in the garden in the morning with your cup of coffee, walk through the area and not have to worry about the morning dew or the rain before. They're really great for climbing back in your garden when you're doing really messy projects, um, when the soil is moist and muddy. Also they come in a wide variety of beautiful colors and patterns which is really exciting. So if you have a flower gardener you can pick a beautiful pair of floral boots. If you have someone who's focused on veggies, you can pick one with cute carrots or wide varieties on them. And they've even got, you know, ones with cute little sayings, or you can go with a classic green pair. Okay, number four on my list is gardening books. Now, there's a wide variety of gardening books that you can choose from, and I couldn't choose just one. But one of my best suggestions is to go to your local half price books and check out the gardening section. See if there's any that are local to your area, anything that is practical to your particular zone, and that's what I would gift your gardener. I did pull out a couple of my favorite books, number one being Cool Flowers by Lisa Mason Ziegler. 
And number two being Florette Farms Cut Flower Garden. And this is by Erin, I'm gonna butcher this, uh, ben Zakane with Julie Ch uh, Chai. Sorry, I'll put that down below so you guys can see it. Both are excellent books. I love this one by Erin. I follow Florette on many social media um, uh, outlets and I like her information. I'm always inspired by her absolutely beautiful photography and she gives really great individual information about different individual varieties, which is wonderful for flowers. Secondly, Cool Flowers, this one is actually pretty hard to find. This is one that you're going to have to locate at potentially half price books or used books or something like that. I'm not sure if it's exactly in print anymore, um, but it's pretty expensive to order over someplace like Amazon because it's difficult to find. Um, but it is a great book about how to utilize hardy annuals within your garden. Number five on my list are Chicken Wire Cloches. Now a chicken wire cloche is a wire dome that you put over brand new seedlings, lettuce, any kind of plant that perhaps is getting nibbled on by the local uh, animals like rabbits or squirrels or such. They are a beautiful element to add to a garden, but they also serve a practical purpose in that they are protecting those seedlings or crops for you. Now, there's a wide variety of cloches available. Uh, you can get them a wide variety of size. You can even get some that kind of collapse and get smaller if you need it or get larger if needed. I'm gonna link a couple of varieties down below for you so you can look at them. This is definitely one of those gifts where I really, really want it for my garden, but it's not something I would necessarily put at the top of my purchase list. So receiving this as a gift would be super fun, very unexpected and wonderful in my garden. Number six on my list is gardener's carry-all. Now, it's kind of a generic term to say a gardener's carry-all. There are some beautiful products that you can purchase with wood sides and beautiful stainless um, basket type with beautiful handles, wonderful opportunities that you can purchase new. However, if you're someone who likes to thrift and shop for vintage and antique items like me, this is a perfect opportunity to select a beautiful basket. Um, it can be, you know, a reeded basket. It can be a wooden basket. It can be a wire basket. But select like some sort of basket that has a really easy handle to kind of link your arm through and then that's something that someone can utilize out in the garden to harvest vegetables flowers throw in loose weeds that they've just pulled carry around tools it can be utilized for a wide variety of aspects so whether you purchase it brand new or you purchase it from a thrift store vintage antique location just make sure it's going to be something that's easy to carry around and lightweight and your gardener is sure to love it Number several on my list is a seed organizer. However, it's not actually termed a seed organizer. It's actually utilized for organizing photographs. But this is a product that I've utilized for multiple years. It's been wonderful for organizing my seeds. And so I always suggested when I come back at the beginning of the year and I'm starting all my seeds, I always pop that product up to show you all. And so I do think that this is a great opportunity to gift that to a gardener who does do some seed sowing, whether it's indoor outdoors or both. This is a really inexpensive gift, but it gives a lot of wow impact because it's large, beautiful, and colorful. Number eight on my list is specific to my particular area, which is North Texas, and that is a subscription to the Dallas Garden School. The Dallas Garden School is run by a lady named Callie, and she is a wonderful gardener and who focuses on what's going on here in North Texas area, which is wonderful. She focuses on vegetables, perennials, ornamentals, flowers, wide variety of plants that work within our particular area and zone. She provides a lot of online classes that are already pre-done and then additional classes that are live where you can tune in on Zoom, ask questions. And then she does also have an all access pass where you pay a monthly fee and you have access to all of her classes, um, either pre-done or the live classes. And then in addition, you can drop in during her office hours and ask questions Questions. And when I say drop in, I mean online. I mean virtually. You can virtually drop in, ask her your questions, and then get back to gardening in a heartbeat. This is something that I gifted myself for my birthday, and so I'm super excited. I've already taken, gosh, four classes from her, and I'm learning every time. She is wonderful to listen to. Speak, um, listen to. She never makes me feel silly for asking questions, which I really love because it is really intimidating to ask other gardeners questions because you want to 
you know, don't want to be embarrassed that maybe you should have known something or whatever. Callie is just very kind, understanding, and gives great information. I always feel very comfortable in her classes. Number nine on my list are a pair of absolutely fabulous pruners. So one company I suggest purchasing from is Felco. They have a wide variety of pruners, whether large, small, left-handed, right-handed, whatever works best for you. I also really enjoy the company Fiskars because I think that they do a really great job as well. One of my favorite sets from Fiskars are micro snips. So they have a very tiny, tiny tip at the very end, which is wonderful for getting in there and trimming just very petite little things, especially when you're doing cut flowers Flower gardening or harvesting. They're really great for getting in there on things such as cosmos blooms where the stems are very delicate and you don't want to cut off too much. Gardeners always need new pruners no matter what they say. So pruners are always something that's wonderful for gardeners that's going to be unexpected and extremely useful for them and so it's something that they don't have to spend their money on that next spring season. Number 10 on my list is elbow length gardening gloves now those who have watched any of my videos for any amount of time and know that i do not wear gloves very often at all now i actually recently got a manicure and i have a project tomorrow so i'll be wearing gloves however i do love elbow length gardening gloves something that's really going to protect your arms all the way to the elbow this is great when you're pruning things such as evergreens which might have you know stickers on them or they might be a little sharp barberies when you're having to dig back into your shrubs or whatever these are something that's really great to utilize especially if you're someone who has sensitive skin these are a wonderful thing to work with these gloves can also be utilized for more than gardening they're great for when you're cleaning out something like gutters or when you're doing some types of housework Number 11 on my list isn't necessarily gardening, but it's on my list for this holiday season, and it's actually the number one gift that I am hoping to receive, and it is a bird dock. A bird dock is basically a smart bird feeder. Basically, it is a bird feeder with a camera in it, and that camera connects to an app on your phone, and so you can watch film of birds coming up to feed at the feeder. I am just really into this. <laughs> You would think that, you know, that wouldn't be something that's super important. It, it is so important. I'm so excited. I really want to see what these birds are doing. I really want to see them up close. I typically only see them from far away. We don't get a lot of birds when I'm outside. I think that they shy away from people or, of course, my dogs when I'm out and about, out and about in my backyard. So I really love the idea of being able to utilize this kind of smart bird feeder to kind of capture beautiful video and photos of the birds within my garden. Number 12 on my list I actually just received for my birthday and it is a copper plate plant label stakes. Now these are just beautiful copper labels with dual stakes going down. They're typically about 12 inches long so you can really push that into the earth or you can leave it up so you can kind of see it easier within the earth. Now you can engrave these yourself or you can utilize a plant marker and actually just write directly on them whatever variety of plant it is. I love these because they're beautiful, they're inexpensive, and there's something that's really kind of fun to add to your garden. Typically, most of us just stick with a basic plastic plant label that either came with the plant or that's one of a thousand that we buy at a time, right? And so utilize some, something like these copper labels for your more established plants and shrubs so you can easily remember the names or you can also write on the back of them or in the front of them whatever watering conditions, fertilizing conditions, whatever something that you need to remember about that particular plant, these are a really beautiful and unique way to do that. Number 13 on my list is a beautiful set of wind chimes. Now, wind chimes can be controversial. Um, I prefer low, you know, melodic sounding wind chimes. I like bamboo. I like the larger metal wind chimes that just put out a low soothing sound. Wind chimes that are much smaller and metal and highly metallic sounding can be something that people don't typically like. So the suggestions that I'm going to be dropping below are wind chimes that sound beautiful for their low melodic qualities. Number 14 on my list is a flower press. 
Now, flower presses are a really fun way to bring your gardening inside. It's a really great way to preserve your blooms over time, to be able to do beautiful winter craft projects, and to kind of continue your love of gardening throughout the off season. You can buy a wide variety of flower presses. There's lots of beautiful ones on Etsy that you can have personalized with the gardener's name on it in their favorite color. I mean, just a wide variety of options. If you're providing a flower press as a gift, perhaps consider looking up a book on flower pressing. I'll drop a link to a couple below as well. Number 15 on my list is actually on my personal list for the holidays, and it is an adjustable folding rake. So there are several different uh, companies you can buy an adjustable folding rake from. I'm gonna drop a couple of links below. Basically, it's a rank, rake that grows in length, so the handle will grow anywhere from 24 to 60 inches in length, which is wonderful, but also the spokes of the rake at the top will go from small to much wider. So if you have tighter areas, you can adjust the rake to kind of all the spokes to a little bit smaller of a width, and then that allows you to get into tighter areas. But then, of course, if you are trying to clean up a large area, you can expand the rake to its full length and try to move a lot of debris at one time. Now, I do think this rake will be very hard to wrap. <laughs> so just consider getting the rake, putting a be big, beautiful red bow on it and calling it a day. But this is such a fun and fabulous and versatile gift for a gardener. Number 16 on my list is Johnny Selected Seeds Stirrup Hose. Now, basically a stirrup hoe has a handle and then the metal part attaches to the handle and then goes down all the way around like a stirrup on a saddle. These can be used in a wide variety of ways, including you know, cultivating the earth, mixing in fertilizer, compost, removing weeds, cutting back perennials, a wide variety of uses for this particular type of hoe. Because of the kind of stirrup quality and the control you can have with this particular tool, it's really nice because you can work into tight spaces with it and avoid running into any additional plants that you're wanting to keep alive or undisturbed. It comes in three different sizes. I suggest starting with the middle size, five inches, because I think that's gonna be more versatile for a gardener who's just starting out with this tool. Number 17 on my list are Vigo Seed Starter Pots. Now, these seed starter pots are going to be the pots that I'm gonna be utilizing this next year to start all my seedlings inside. So what I really love about these particular seed trays or seed containers is that it has a really long reservoir for the soil. So the roots have the opportunity to grow nice and deep. These also have a way of watering where you water in the center and then the container actually disperses the water so it allows it to just drip into each of the little seed container pots which is absolutely glorious and wonderful. And it allows you from, it keeps you from flooding out your seeds, disturbing or moving the seeds. And it allows you to kind of just add a little bit of water at a time, as opposed to just going crazy. They also have really great air circulation as they have cutouts on, on each of the corners of the actual little seed tray. So each individual seed cell has really great, you know, airflow. So it's gonna, you know, keep away a lot more of the fungus, mildew, or bacterial buildup. Now, if you do decide to order these, be sure to order the tops to the containers as well. But these are what I will be utilizing this next year to start all of my seeds inside. Number 18 on my list is a collapsible wheelbarrow. Okay, I didn't even know these were a thing. I've never purchased a wheelbarrow because I don't actually have a place to store it in my garage outside. And so it, they take up a ton of room, right? And yes, you can store them up on the walls, but it's kind of heavy, bulky, and awkward to get up and down off your walls. So I discovered this collapsible wheelbarrow and I am pretty psyched about it. It is one of the items on my list this year and I would really love it. It looks lightweight, easy to move around and something that can be utilized not just for gardening but also hauling, moving things, whatever you're doing within your space. But I love the idea that at the end of the day, I can just dump it out, clean it out, fold it up and put it against the wall out of the way. I really like the idea of having some type of wheelbarrow. I've wanted a cart for a long time, but once again, that also takes up a lot of room and I don't have necessarily space to store it. So I think that this kind of idea of a wheelbarrow might be, you know, a really good kind of compromise for my needs, especially since it's collapsible and it won't take up as much space. Number 19 on my list is a rain gauge. 
Now, rain gauge is very generic. You can just get a sweet little plastic rain gauge, which is kind of fun and can be stuck in one portion of their yard and they can utilize. You can get some more, you know, dynamically decorated ones that are brass or copper and will, you know, kind of patina over time and be a beautiful kind of decor accent within a garden. Or you can go highly technical and get a, a rain gauge that kind of connects to an app on your phone and kind of gives you messages about what's going on with your weather precipitation outside. I like it simple. Um, I kind of like to say right in the middle range. I want a rain gauge that's going to work and I can walk out after a rainstorm and see how much rain we got, but I also like it to look beautiful. So those are the type of links that I've linked below. And number 20 on my list is a gift card to a local nursery. So I'm not talking about Home Depot or Lowe's, I'm talking about a local small nursery. One of my favorite nurseries in the area is Homegrown or Covington's, and that's in my Zone 8A North Texas area. They're both beautiful local nurseries that provide a wide variety of plants that are great for this area. And providing something like a gift card might seem eh, simple or meh, but to a gardener, as soon as they receive that gift card, they're already making plans. I can guarantee you, they're already planning that, oh, I really wanted to get that tree, or oh, I can't wait to get a couple of flats soon as we get warmer weather in the spring. So they're gonna immediately start dreaming as soon as they see that gift card. All right, you all, I hope you enjoyed my 20 suggestions for gifts for gardeners for 2022. It was really fun kind of going through and dreaming about all this. I keep a updated list on my phone of ideas and thoughts and products that I might want to utilize or try throughout the entire year. And then at the end of the year, when it's time, I weed them out and I add what I want to my gift list, but then I'm also providing you all a list as well. Don't forget to drop below your favorite gardening gifts that you've ever received share what you love even if it's small even if it's big whatever it is that you're interested in share below so that we can all go check it out for our own shopping list all right you guys as always she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be thanks y'all